Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And please, next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the transmission pan on this 2002 Chevy Suburban with the 5.3 liter engine. And this particular model has the deep transmission pan. And the items you'll need for this is a new transmission pan from 1AAuto.com, a 13 and 15 millimeter socket and ratchet with an extension and a swivel, a drip pan, jack and jack stands, a pry bar, and a funnel. You're going to want to raise and support your vehicle, and you're going to need to loosen the exhaust. There are three 15 millimeter nuts uh, holding it on each side. You uh, take these off so that the exhaust will drop down and give you extra clearance for the pan. Um, one of the bolts you will need a swivel or a universal joint in order to get to it. Your transmission pin is located right here and there's a 15 millimeter drain plug. Just remove the drain plug, make sure you have a drip pan underneath. and just let the fluid drain out. Now replace your drain plug and tighten it back up and then remove this series of 13 millimeter bolts that line the outside of your transmission pan. And the hardest one to get to is the one in this corner here. You just want to use a solid extension and a 13 millimeter socket and ratchet and just put that on the bolt kind of pry that cable aside using the extension and just remove the bolt. And we'll just fast forward as Mike removes the rest of those 13 millimeter bolts. And this process can be done entirely with hand tools. We're just going to use some air tools to speed up the process. Now tap the pan with a hammer and pull it down. And now using a pry bar. Pry between the transmission case and the bracket for the uh, ship cable and pry that bracket out and then pull the pan down. And then once you get the pan out of the way, make sure you clean off the rim uh, very well. Take your new transmission pan and put the gasket into place and feed the bolts up through the holes and the gasket will hold the bolts into place. And you don't need to do this with all the bolts, just a few of them, enough to get it started. And feed the pan back up in over the exhaust and use your pry bar and pry out again on the bracket for the shift cable so that the pan can go up into place. Now start all the bolts in and I always start them by hand first. Just make sure that you don't cross thread them into the transmission. And we'll fast forward here as like I said I start all the bolts in first and then tighten them up preliminarily. Now you want to torque each of these 13 millimeter bolts in a crossing pattern to about 15 foot pounds. And we'll just fast forward as Mike does the rest of these. Now just replace these 15 millimeter nuts. And 
and we'll fast forward as Mike tightens those up. Okay, when you go to refill your transmission, it's kind of a three-step process. And right here is the full hot line. Okay, and there's a little range here. What you want is when the vehicle is hot, you want your level anywhere from the middle to the upper part of that. So, and actually you can see down here, it says cold. So what you'll want to do is when your engine's not running, fill your transmission fluid probably up to about the bottom of here. Then start your vehicle, uh, put it in reverse and first or drive a couple times, get the transmission fluid um, circulating, and then at that point check and fill until you're at the cold line. Then drive your vehicle quite a bit, get the transmission nice and warm, and then check and make sure that the transmission fluid's in here. Okay, you want to make sure that the transmission is hot before you check it and make sure it's here. And if it's not, you just add a little more fluid and get it to the right level. Now use a funnel and you want to make sure that the inside of the funnel is clean. And then take your transmission fluid and just replace the fluid. Okay, so three quarts got me to there. So I'll start it up, put it in reverse in the first couple of times to circulate the transmission fluid. After you've done that, just go back to the dipstick and pull it out. Then wipe it down, replace the dipstick, and check the level. And if it's not right, add more fluid and repeat the process. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free, 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.